It's m m m mail time again. I'm going broke. Okay, let's get started. Move all this away. I'm gonna start with this one because it's got terminals and I've already opened it. I had to open it because I thought I was gonna have a dispute because I ordered 20 of these screw terminals and it felt like there was five in the bag. <laughs> so I thought I'd better open them and check before my time ran out from AliExpress. But no, they're correct. These are the 2.54 millimeter screw terminals from my reflow oven. 20 of them, and that is 20 of them. And I expected, I don't know why I expected a bigger bag, I guess, but nope, 20 of them. RS components, open this one up. This was a back order in there. No, nothing cool. Wow, paper bag. I've not quite seen that before. And what is inside here? So these are SMD switches, uh, momentary switches that I use for my PCBs, but these are a slightly different version of the switch that I'm currently using. These should have a much nicer push button. Oh, they do. Oh, nice. So the ones I use at the moment, they're exactly the same brand, same company, same everything else. But for some reason, they're just really hard to push. But these are, oh, nice. Yay. Okay. So I need them for my current PCBs. Should have ordered more of them. Next, we have, I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, cool. It's my wire. Okay. Well, oh, they come on a little stick for the spool. Great. Oh, with actual holes for colours. So I've got yellow, red, green, black, and blue. These are 22 gauge. Cool. You never have too much wire. Next. These are LED chips. This is the second order that I mentioned on my Neo X segment. About there, if you watch there. I ordered two lots of the SK6812Bs. This is a different company than my previous ones. These ones are actually cheaper, but I wanted to try out two different manufacturers, two different companies. Cool. Nice. Okay, next. IC times one. Hmm. What would I have ordered IC times one? Let's have a look. So these are HC595s, but surface mount. I ordered these and I can't remember what for. Okay, that's kind of weird. Next, we have plastic sheet times one. Okay, that's not a plastic sheet. What is this? Definitely not a plastic sheet. It's quite thick, heavy. Absolutely not a plastic sheet. But what it is, this is a little adapter board that I bought based on Brian Locke's recommendation. This is to fit the AT Tiny 85 surface mount chips to program them. Oh, look at that, it's bent. Pins are bent. Okay, cool. So bent pins to Fix those, hopefully it hasn't wrecked it. Okay, we've got another little one. This is IC times one. Another row of chips. What are these? By so many ICs, I just I don't know why. Ah, these are the Max Temp Probe chips. Okay, what's next? I've got an assortment of things in here. I'm not quite sure what all this is. Let's find out, shall we? Bag of goodies. Lots of goodies. Okay, we have got, hmm, I thought these would be thinner. I bought some red and black jumper wire, just short. The idea was to use these, oh, they're quite flexible. Okay, so the idea is to use these on breadboards. Let's get a breadboard, shall we? And see how good they work. Hmm, apparently these are supposed to be great for breadboards. Clearly not. The wires are too thick on them. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Ah! Oh, so these were supposed to be high gauge jumper wires for breadboards when I needed to put high current through for power. That's what they were sold as. That's what I bought them for. But, no, nope, they will not fit in a breadboard at all. Too thick. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. That's a shame. What else do we get? We got... Oh, okay, great. Some switches. And these switches are, hmm. 
I ordered surface mount sideways switches and I got through hole switches. Now that really sucks. That's two for two, ba bow, not happy. Okay, I've got some alligator to banana plug cables. These are supposed to be silicon cables and these are absolutely not silicon cables, but they are, wow, why can't they just do a black wire? Red wire with a black strip. Anyway, banana to alligator. These are for my power supply, my new Tenma power supply that came with no cables, which is ridiculous. I got two of those, but again, it's supposed to be silicon, not silicon. Oh boy, you're doing well. And I've got a pack of headers and connectors. So just an assortment in the pack. So for instance, we've got a, a three pin header that goes on a PCB with a three pin connector like that. And of course all the little, oops, connecty things in here. And of course, Ordered a crimper as well, but the crimper's not here yet. That's pretty cool. Okay, great. One thing that I ordered is correct, and this is an assortment of surface mount buttons. Whoa, upside down. Ah, I wrecked it. Look what you did, Sion. You opened it upside down. You're an idiot. It's official, everyone. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm going to have fun sorting these back out again. Oh, man. Anyway, so these are all momentary switches, and they're all surface mount, all different types. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. You saw it live, folks. Anyway, little tiny ones. Wow, look how small these are. Anyway, all different types of surface mount switches. That is going to take me ages to fix. And lucky last, we have a delivery from Core Electronics again. It's only one thing in here. This is a Palolu USB AVR programmer. This is the latest version of their programmer. With a cable. So it's got the FTDI type connections here and it's got just the normal connector here. Oh, okay, cool. Comes with pins, USB programmer. This is for my AT Tiny development board that I've got the headers for. So, I've got an FTDI programmer, but I don't have just a standard one like this, and now I do. Palulu. I know you can get cheaper ones from China, but I wanted something that was reliable, something that had good support, and that was recommended to me, and it was this one. That's it. That's my mail. Can't believe I turned those buttons upside down. This supplier, this obviously all came from one supplier. Big disappointment, I've got to say. These buttons look pretty cool, but, you know... Not what I ordered. Not what I ordered. Bit disappointing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Hit that alarm bell if you want to be notified when I've got new videos coming out. And until next time, bye.